Genetically modified foods have been part of our everyday lives, whether we like it or not, and it's often happening right under our noses without even noticing. Some foods have been genetically modified in some seriously crazy ways. So join me as we take a look at 15 of the strangest genetically modified foods. Number 15. Heart-shaped watermelon. You may have seen them on the internet or have been lucky enough to encounter one at a market, but square watermelons have become a bit of a trend, specifically in Japan, over the last few years. Farmers may not actually genetically modify them, but they're able to manipulate the shape perfectly while the fruit is growing, giving them their unconventional look. But one Japanese farmer, Hirochi Komura, put a little extra love into his farm and grew heart-shaped watermelons. It took Kimura about three years to perfect the technique, but in the end, he and his wife were able to produce this juicy and tasty work of art. But how was he able to get this shape down just right? All Kimura did was place the seedlings in a heart-shaped container and let nature do the rest. He managed to make a solid 20 of these lovely watermelons and have them shipped out to department stores in Japan, where they sold for 15,000 yen apiece, which is about $160. If you ever do see one of Kimura's creations while paying his home country a visit, then why not have a heart and buy one? Number 14. Venomous Cabbage Parents are always trying to force their kids to eat greens, but now all these kids have to do is tell their parents that veggies are poisonous. Okay, so it's maybe not that dramatic, but biotech companies have managed to infuse scorpion venom into the cells of a cabbage. And believe it or not, they've been working on it since 1994. But this new poisonous cabbage will require fewer pesticides, seeing as how fewer caterpillars and creepy crawlies are willing to chow down on something that's this deadly for them. And since the levels of the venom here are totally harmless to humans, it means that this cabbage will be even better for us, because fewer pesticides in our foods are always going to be a good thing. If anything, this newfound cabbage will be more natural, seeing as how they're infused with something that already occurs in the wild. But then again, if few caterpillars are eating the cabbage, it means that their populations will decrease, altering their ecosystems potentially forever. So it's up to you to decide if the scorpion cabbage is good in the long run. But either way, it's pretty strange. Number 13. Flavor Saver Tomato don't you just hate it when you buy produce, and before you know it, it's all shriveled up and ready to go in the trash? Well, the California-based company Calgene went ahead and solved that problem for customers in the mid-1990s with their Flavor Saver Tomato. The idea here is to substantially extend the life of tomatoes, because they can go bad before they even hit the shelves, having pruned up or molded during shipping. Calgene aimed to slow down the ripening process by adding a gene to interfere with the enzymes that would normally break down a beautiful, juicy red tomato. And if all of this sounds a little too good to be true, well, that's because it is. Calgene may have made a longer-lasting tomato, but it didn't actually improve the quality of the fruit, with many consumers saying that these genetically modified tomatoes were less firm than their natural counterparts. The Flavor Saver tomato only lasted about three years before being seized altogether, and Calgene was bought by none other than GMO giant Monsanto. Number 12. Cancer-Fighting Eggs With so much pollution and carcinogens in the air and plastic and water and food, staying healthy and even cancer-free has become more difficult than ever for people. But Japanese researchers were able to come up with something that may help a bit by genetically modifying their chickens to lay eggs containing interferon beta, a protein that helps to stave off diseases like cancer, hepatitis, and even multiple sclerosis. But how they produce these life-saving eggs is almost as interesting as the product itself. These researchers began to use these modified gametes to fertilize an egg that would only produce male chicks. Then these male chicks who carried the new gamete were bred with females to produce offspring that would inherit the protein-producing genes, allowing the hens to lay the cancer-fighting eggs on their own. And while you may think that eating too many eggs is only going to raise your cholesterol, you're in luck, because the cancer-fighting compounds are in the egg whites, so you'll have to stave off the disease while building up all that necessary protein. It really is an incredible edible egg. Number 11. Allergy-Free Milk about 68% of the world's population has some sort of lactose intolerance, and while most people aren't guzzling down glasses of milk every morning, it's hard to avoid dairy products, cheese, ice cream, butter. No way are we cutting those yummy things out of our diets. 
And while the nut milk market is booming, some things just can't make up for the real deal. So luckily for that 68% of the world's scientists in New Zealand were able to genetically engineer a cow in 2012 that produces milk completely free of the protein known as beta-lactoglobulin, which is what causes those gassy, adverse reactions. But because the study as well as the lactose-friendly cow are relatively young, there's still a lot of research that needs to go into the study. And for starters, this cow was born without a tail, which did raise quite a few red flags. Sometimes going against Mother Nature isn't the best move, but if these researchers and scientists can find a way to ethically produce more of these modified cows, their work will be an absolute milestone for ice cream lovers everywhere. Number 10. Faster Growing Salmon Salmon can swim pretty fast, moving about one body length per second, but they don't grow very fast, at least not for the humans that love to eat the stuff. It takes about three years for a farmed salmon to reach big enough size for sale on the market. But the Massachusetts-based company Aqua Bounty managed to cook up a batch of salmon that can reach the same size in half the time. So in just 12 months, their salmon are ready for market. That is a pretty big deal and a pretty big salmon. And despite some of the usual backlash from environmentalists, Aqua Bounty made the claim that their salmon is all disease and antibiotic free and can be produced with a smaller carbon footprint than your traditional sea cage farms. Plus, these genetically modified salmon also require less food than your typical Atlantic salmon, keeping costs down for everyone. But these fast-growing salmon are just one of two genetically modified animals that the American Food and Drug Administration has approved for human consumption. Well, what do you think? Would you give this salmon a chance on your dinner plate? Number 9. Cry-Proof Onions So many delicious meals begin with an onion, but cutting them will definitely get those tears flowing. There are plenty of little tricks to help cut down on the burn, like soaking them in ice water or even wearing sunglasses, but nothing is ever 100% effective, except for the new genetically modified tear-proof onions. The work has taken scientists quite literally decades to get down just right, but they finally did it. And unlike some of the other entries on our list, these onions were genetically modified naturally with crossbreeding beginning in the 1980s. Known as sunions, they have much less tear-inducing compounds and have a sweet and mild flavor, so they can even be eaten raw if you're into that sort of thing. Sunions are only grown in the United States, specifically in Nevada and Washington, but the growers have been working hard since 2017 to get them out to the masses. Sometimes genetically modified food can be a little scary, but sometimes it can be pretty fun. Number 8. Non-Browning Mushrooms for a lot of people, mushrooms can be a pretty tough nut to crack. Do you need to wash them? Do you need to keep them in the refrigerator? And how long do they keep? Sometimes you just don't know until it's too late and you're left with a brown fungus that turns to mush in your fingers. But what about non-browning mushrooms? White button mushrooms have been genetically modified through natural gene editing and became the first crop of their kind to get the okay from the United States government to be sold in markets, totally bypassing the USDA. That's pretty cool. Scientists were able to suppress the specific gene that turns these white button mushrooms brown, which means that they keep longer, not only in your kitchen, but in the grocery store and even during transportation as well. Less browning means less waste, and all of this is made possible through the aptly named CRISPR technology, a gene editing tool that lets researchers add and withhold genes for various purposes as they see fit. Number seven, red love apples. Don't you just love a nice red apple? But how about a red love apple? Well, these amazing apples look pretty normal on the outside, but everything changes when you take a bite out of one. The flesh is a deep pink and reddish color with a faint white rim surrounding the core. And if you cut them into quarters, you'll be looking at a heart. The red love apples are incredibly cool and have been created by Swiss nursery owner Marcus Kobelt in 2010. The story goes that Cobalt had been cross-pollinating his Royal Gala and Brayburn apples with his top-secret red-fleshed apples that weren't quite tasty enough to eat. The entire process took him 20 years to get it perfect, but he's gone on to create plenty of other red loves like, like the Cirque, Odysseo, and even the Lollipop, which he claims is the sweetest variation. But adorable names and sweet looks aside, the red love apples are said to be scab-resistant and hold up incredibly well while cooking. They get their color as well as resilient properties from their higher than average levels of anthocyanins, which also makes them much higher in antioxidants while containing less sugar than your favorite go-tos. 
so it is safe to say that the red loves don't just look great, but are great for you. Number 6. Banana Vaccine Vaccinations have improved the lives of everyday people for decades. Polio, measles, and even smallpox are pretty much a thing of the past, but the thought of a needle getting stuck in your arm can be kinda gross. So luckily for all of the needle phobes out there, scientists and farmers have teamed up over the years to create vaccine-giving bananas. While they've also successfully engineered other crops like potatoes, lettuce, carrots, and even tobacco to administer the doses, they've found that bananas are the ideal form of delivery. So far, it looks like the hepatitis B vaccine is the top candidate for losing the fight to a banana. But how are they able to make something like this? Well, that's a pretty good question. Like making any vaccine, they alter a form of the virus before injecting it into the body. But in this case, they inject this thing into a banana sapling. The genetic material will quickly become part of the sapling cells, allowing the developing cells to produce the non-infectious parts of the virus proteins. Pretty much from there, all we have to do is peel the banana, take a hearty bite, and let our immune system do the rest, building up antibodies to combat the disease. It's an incredibly simple, yet incredibly genius idea. Number 5. BT Corn Pesticides have become somewhat of a key component of mass farming over the years, with the issue being a double-edged sword. On one hand, farmers don't want any bugs ruining their harvest and affecting their livelihood. And on the other hand, we don't want to be putting any unnecessary chemicals in our bodies. So what exactly can people do? Well, seeing as how corn is one of the most grown crops in the world, why not try growing some BT corn? Although you may not have heard of it, BT corn has been on the shelves of local grocery stores since 2012, and it's the corn itself that acts as its own insecticide. Anything that tries to take a bite out of it while it's growing is going to ingest this now naturally produced poison. Similar to the venomous cabbage, BT corn is engineered with three BT toxin genes that allow it to protect itself, not only from natural predators, but from harmful herbicides as well. Number 4. Human Cow Milk We're starting to see more and more machines capable of doing a human's job, but what about an animal? Scientists in China have been hardworking over the years to genetically engineer cows that can produce milk meant for humans meaning mothers will no longer have to breastfeed their children if they so choose. That is, if the testing all goes according to plan. Human cow milk may be a bit of a taboo subject, but there's the chance that it could help mothers everywhere who have trouble feeding their children naturally. These scientists started introducing human genes into the cow embryos in 2011 and ended up with dairy cows that produced milk identical to that of a human. And it all had the same immune-boosting and antibacterial qualities as human breast milk. And while the project is nowhere near finished, you can bet that the animal rights and welfare advocates are less than thrilled, because many of these genetically modified cows die shortly after they're born. And then there's the question of whether or not the milk is actually safe for human consumption. So far, scientists have not been able to conduct clinical trials on a large enough scale. And until that happens, you won't be seeing human cow milk in bottles anytime soon. Number 3. Bomb Sniffing Spinach Spinach is pretty damn good for you. It helps keep the blood flowing, the mind sharp, and it can help you live longer if you eat enough of the green stuff regularly. But it can also help to keep us alive in other ways too, like detecting landmines. Yeah, you heard that right. But that doesn't mean having a pocket full of spinach is going to keep you safe while walking around in a war zone. It's a bit more subtle than that. In 2016, MIT was able to genetically modify the superfood, embedding their leaves with carbon nanotubes that allow them to sense explosives and then wire that information over to something like a smartphone. Landmines contain the chemical compounds nitroaromatics, which this newly modified spinach can recognize and will then emit a fluorescent signal that can be easily read by an infrared camera. It does sound like the plot of a silly science fiction novel for sure, but it is the real deal. The entire process is called plant nanobionics, with this example in particular being one of the first instances of combining plants and electronic systems. Number 2. Enviro Pigs It's hard not to laugh at this fact, but there are so much livestock being farmed that their farts and poop are harmful to the environment. All of that methane gas and phosphorus goes up into the air, poking holes in our ozone layer. So then should we feed the livestock less? How about having less livestock altogether? No, 
Instead, scientists put their heads together to genetically modify pigs so they produce eco-friendly poop. Your average North American pig feed is made up of corns and grains, which because of all that phosphorus isn't too easy on the digestive tract, which is how the pigs end up with phosphorus poop. And not only is that steaming its way into the air, but it finds its way into local water supplies as well. A team by the name of Canadian Enviro Pigs created these new pigs to produce their own phytase, an enzyme that helps to digest the harmful minerals. It is an interesting idea, but when you realize that pigs aren't eating the same foods as their mass farm counterparts, the issue lies within the industry as a whole. So while the idea of an Enviro pig is interesting and strange, it acts more of a band-aid than a solution. Number 1. Pollution Fighting Plants When it comes to fighting pollution and saving the planet, we all need to do our part. And a little extra help from the plants wouldn't hurt either. Scientists over at the University of Washington have genetically engineered poplar trees to clean up contamination sites from under the soil. The poplar trees suck up the pollutants found in the groundwater through their roots and break them down into a harmless byproduct, which makes its way up towards their stems and the leaves to be released back into the air. It is an amazing recycling process that could potentially change the world for the better. Tests are still underway, but so far many of these plants have been able to remove and release 91% of trichloroethylene, which is the most common of volatile groundwater contaminants. Now, if we could only get humans to separate their recycling. Watch our future playlist for more top 15 videos about the future. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best future-related videos.